Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dak Dak, and today we're starting a new series. We've got Planet Zoo. I've um, played Planet Coast before. I didn't really put much effort into learning that game, but I did really like um, <clears throat> the style of the game. I did always like the roller coaster tycoons and stuff like that. But yeah, didn't put much effort into learning it. That's going to be different for this one. I do like my zoo games. I'm aware the music might be a little bit loud, by the way. But it shouldn't be loud enough that you can't hear me. Hear me? Hear me. So as you can see, these two are both tutorials. I've got one more tutorial to go. And I didn't really fancy doing another one off camera. So, I just wanted to get started on recording and get into it. I've learned some of the basics apparently i've got some more to learn i think this one might be about shops and stuff because i've not done anything with that yet i know how to build enclosures i know how to recruit people put down power and stuff like that but yeah i just wanted to get into it and uh, show you guys what planet zoo is all about it is a dead cool looking game i do love it we're in Just look at that view. Oh, bless you. That is dead cool. Oh, pandas. <laughs> and they're my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> you should be able to hear him talking unless I'm talking over him. But I did turn the uh, volume on the chat thing down. <clears throat> I could always just mute it and read it myself, but... Yeah. I'll stop talking over him now. So, there will be a lot of talking for this because it is another tutorial, but first thing we've got to do is locate the giant panda um, enclosure. So, if we go in here, look for animals and giant pandas. Obviously, the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and oh. luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. Look at the panda. Let's go and have a look at it. Go on, don't be shy. Bless you. <coughs> there was a panda cub. A panda cub? It's a panda cub! Did you know the giant pandas or Isla Rocca de Merla Luca for being formal are the only entire anyway? Let's try and get through this tutorial. Quarantine the sick antelope. So, where are our antelopes? At. I don't imagine this city full of fall has that kind of appetite yet, though. Oh, no. I just got oh, word that's a giant ball. That a saber <clears throat> antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first, and that they're displaying signs of disease. We'll have to move them into quarantine. It's not you. Spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the Where are we? Habitat. Ah, we've only got the one antelope. <clears throat> so it's got to be you. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Uh, where's the quarantine facility? Right over there. Then we've got to locate the highlighted area. Right, so we're going to need to build a vet surgery in here. That'll probably be... Staff facilities, vet surgeries. We've got a veterinary surgery there, so if we click here... Uh, I don't know which way's front. Is 
invalid rotation. Let's try again. Get out of it. Add it to the group. There we go. How do you rotate? I forgot. I thought it was Z. Shift goes up and down. Well, this isn't a good start, is it? Mmm. I really can't remember. Oh no! What have I done? Facilities. Veterinary surgery. There we go. Is there not just a button to rotate? Let me have a look because I don't like using the Z to rotate things. If you just go into the settings and controls and object placement controls, rotate. It is Z. Rotate 90 degrees is just press Z. I thought it was right. <clears throat> In you go. Oh, it works now. All right then, game. You be awkward. So we've got our surgery done. Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down, oh, no. and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you. So I'm assuming we're going to need a mechanic to come and fix this. Are you uh, our mechanic? Yes, you are. Good. Work. Good. Now it's all fixed up. Where the hell would my research facility be? Surely. Facilities. Staff food information. Now, I'll be honest. I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had. So I think we should do some research into it. I'm going to have to build one, aren't I? Research into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. I'd like you to start some research into border pelosis. Disease research can be found in vet research. So head over to your research center and get one of the vets researching it. I can't say as I can see any uh, research centers. <coughs> That's a trade centre. They're probably all shops with the looks of it. I'm fairly sure I've not... Oh, go to zoo. Ah, you don't have to... That's beautiful. Um, I cannot pronounce that. But it's this one anyway. Let's get the good researcher on it. There we go. That, we've got bronze already. It might be worth getting all these... Just knocked out. That was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> We've saved the antelope at least. What might have happened if you hadn't got him into quarantine as quickly as you did. Best thinking there. We had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. What was it? Begin researching. Just a memento. View workshop. Here we go. Where is just a memento? Unless it's just anything. Yeah, yeah, it is just anything, apparently. <clears throat> Locate quarantine small. There we go. Oh. It turns 
about that we're allowed to adopt more giant yes more giant pandas authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program even so i'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed so we'll have to be patient transfer them dudes and we're ready move the giant pandas to quarantine ready to go uh, so we can do that quite easily. We go into animal storage, select all of you guys, move you into quarantine. There we go. So open up animal trading and go into the animal reward section. Move one male giant panda to a new habitat. New habitat, so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him. We're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. I thought we just got three females. I've not got to buy one, have I? Move him to the new panda habitat. Move who? I mean, there's males and females in there. Oh, I've got to move him across the... I see. I'm a silly. Um, Has it got to be anyone in particular? I don't think it has. You are male. And you can come across here. Ah, it's completely new panda habitat. Set up the new panda habitat. Use filters to make sure you use the correct items. Generally know what I'm doing there. So, we've got to go habitats and food and water. Let's set the filter for species and gigantic panda. Just so we know we're getting the right things in there. Where is the entrance? Just so. Right there. We want the feeding stations and stuff. Eh, I don't think I want them right by the front. So they might start getting stressed out. Let's tuck it just in the corner there. And we'll get a little bit of um, water just tucked across here as well. Da Zhuang, Chinese Pangolian, is about to mature. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, what else do they want to do? Food enrichment, we can do that. That is over here, food enrichment. And we might as well get both of them. I'm just going to put them... Over this way, tree scatter feeder. Throw that right in the middle. Toy enrichment. And we can get a block of ice. I like putting these sort of things near the front. But I want to keep all the things that need replacing close together. So the keepers can um, come in and just do all of it at the same time. We don't need to put all of these in here, but I do generally prefer putting all of them in. What is this? Herb scent marker enrichment, fair enough. And rubbing pillar. We shouldn't really keep putting them all in the same place. Let's spread the last couple out. Wind chimes, they can go over there. Yeah. Oh, we got the enriched achievement. You can't see that, it's a steam achievement. But anyway, increased terrain welfare to 90%. So, um, habitat, we need more plants. And what plants do we need? And what plants do we need to get rid of? So they're not a fan of those. I'm still not sure how you get rid of them all quickly, but I just want to test to see if we don't have to get rid of them. So biomes is temperate in Asia. So we want biomes is temperate and continent is Asia. There we go. So they should generally appreciate any of these. We can get a few little trees around here. So plants is still kind of negative. It's fine. It's fine. I do think I'm going to have to get rid of the other ones. Common lily. Cherry blossom. Hey, I like that. What else have we got? Himalayan birch tree. They don't mind a little bit of that. Uh, what else have we got? Japanese maple tree. Yes. 
So the coverage is going, oh, plants is going up now, but they still don't like certain ones. I'm looking for a few bigger trees. No, actually, we can get a little bit of uh, foliage around the front. Come on, some big trees. Uh, holly tree. Pandas like holly, right? Don't know who this holly is, but... I'm joking, by the way. I know what holly is. I'm not that uninformed, shall we say. Increased train welfare to 90%. We are getting there. Um, one more. Ah, we need terrain. So we need more short grass, less long grass. Fair enough. So I've sorted the plants out. Did it in slightly the wrong order. Just drop the intensity a little bit. And just... Little dabs here and there. In fact, it seems like we're going to need a lot of dabs. Just replacing the uh, the long grass with short. There is long grass somewhere else, apparently. There we go. They're enjoying that. So, that's kind of the first habitat built, admittedly. I didn't build it, but I did fill it out a little bit. <clears throat> so, we've got to go back to the quarantine, move the giant pandas into their new habitat. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it's in here. No. Click on the quarantine. I'm sure that is the quarantine. I've got to click on the front door. <clears throat> Fine. Move all of you guys across to here. Just speed time up a little bit. We'll wait for the pandas to be delivered. You will see, I think that's them coming. No, it's not. That is guests. You'll see some dudes running across with boxes. There they go. Right, we can slow it back down now. <coughs> there's one, there's two, and there's three. So that's three females to one male. Oh, you lucky, lucky panda. It's um, the Cerberus Panda. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's got three heads. <laughs> anyway. A work zone. I've not done this one before. Include new panda habitat in work zone. Staff and work zones. New work zone. So that, that, and that, is that all of them? That, so we've got two facilities and one habitat, yes. Surely that's that done. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings on in the zoo. And we want to go to zoo, we want to go to staff, and we need to hire a new keeper. So we'll drop you right there, sir. Click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. employment tab is over there. No work zone. We need work zone ten. I believe it was. I should really name those. We will in future. Beautiful.
and you can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into mechanic research. Look at them. So elegant. It's so cool. So, that is research completed. <clears throat> so we've developed... Oh, we've got all three of them. Fair enough. You know what? I am going to keep that going. I don't know if we need it. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to research stuff for the giant panda. Then it gives them more toys. We've got the mechanics research done as well. Sylvania shops. We'll just let them keep going with that. Placed just a memento. Uh, guest facilities. We got the Sylvania shop. Oh, placed just a memento. Have we got to place it anywhere in particular? Or are we fine to just throw it wherever we see fit? They want it going in here. Righty, righty, righty. So, back on there. And just a memento. That needs to be added to this group. Whoa, Nelly. Ah, you've got to go in the window. I see. And there's silver, just like that. I know it's a tutorial. It's not really difficult, is it? Just doing what you're told. Well, sometimes it is. Have at least 18 species in the zoo. So now we get more into the we get to do what we want section of it. but it was perhaps a little <laughs> on the nose back as promised right i'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo now you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area and if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space huh. and create interesting habitats just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. E.g. don't mix lions with antelopes. Why not? Lions and antelopes seems fun, right? Um, why are you boxed up? Good sir. So, we have got an awful lot of animals already. Is there any exhibits? Giant centipedes, boas, uh, tarantulas. What was that? Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Ugh. No, thank you. Common death adder? Have we got any free... Um, Places, exhibits, should I say? Giant land tiger snail, poisonous frog, scorpions, rattlesnakes. They are flamingos. Where was the zoopedia thing that the uh, lady was on about? Contraceptives. Now we're all right, thank you. <clears throat> so all the exhibits we've got are uh, fully loaded. That research mechanics. Is there a way? Zoopedia. There we go. Right, 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 right. So, have we got any giant tortoises? I don't think so. Natural habitat species data. Oh, interspecies enrichment. Doesn't benefit from sharing spaces. Fair enough. 
This is good to know though, I didn't check this in the last tutorial that I did. <clears throat> one to four, up to one males and three females, male bachelor group size, yeah, that's all good. Have we got any um, giant tortoises? Yes, we do. Fair enough, I don't really want any more tortoises. Wildebeests, have we got any wildebeests? We are paused, that is fine. Um, no, we have not got any wildebeests. So let's have a look, see if they can play nice with other, other animals. And Zoopedia. We will learn what's good and what's not at some point. Least concern, good. Species data, interspecies. You can go with warthogs, zebras, giraffes, antelopes. So we know we've got antelopes. Yes. Great flamingos. Where did they go? There. Antelopes. Yes. So we can get a wildebeest or two. <clears throat> Just have a quick look, see what group sizes they like to be in. <clears throat> um, species data. Up to one male. Uh, up to one male, up to 31 females. Wow, you'd be a popular dude. So. Again, we come back here. Um, you are both females. They're probably not going to like that, but I am going to take both of them. And I am going to move both of them into here. And then we'll see how well they do in there. <clears throat> ah, one, two, and three are those. Fair enough. Right, I can um, learn those hotkeys, right? Just speed the game up and we'll wait for the wildebeest to be delivered. And then we'll make sure that they're all okay. I should really check all the animals before we get into this properly. Alrighty then. Ooh, that's always good. Let's just get let a little bit of time pass to make sure that they're still okay with it all. Yes, they are. I'd still like to try and get a male wildebeest. I don't know if you can set up any sort of like notification or anything like that. Peafowls. We've got lots of them. Have we got any actual peafowls? In our zoo. No, we have not. You can just do that. So much easier. So much easier. So we've not got any pea fowls. Do they like sharing with anything? <clears throat> um... No, not really. <laughs> Four males, up to 16 females. But we could build an enclosure for them. Maybe we've not got to. Maybe that's not the point of this. Maybe it's more about mixing and matching. What have we got in there? Gariel? Gariel? Hmm. What else have we got? I'm sure we've already got tape here. It cannot be released into the wild. But yeah, you release animals into the wild to get more of these points up. Um, more giant. No, 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 no. I do think we're going to have to make a new enclosure. For these dudes. Where's a good male? You're bronze. You're silver. Let's take the silver. Male. Right, so we've got to make a new enclosure for these dudes. <clears throat> we've got a little bit of grassland up here. I think that might be a little bit big for them. 
this is probably going to be the last thing we do. I could split this into a few different things, right? Um, so, what do we want them in? Yeah, I'll go with this. And I do like the curvy walls. I'm not going to build a huge enclosure for them. Like I say, I don't think they're going to need a huge enclosure. Let's call it that, and we'll get back onto straight. I might be able to get a path that runs all the way across. Um, I'd like angle snapping on as well, please. There we go. And back to curved. Nope, we've got to go straight. No angle snapping, please. And that can go to there. And then we can go back into curved. Trust me, I've built some horrendous um, enclosures in the other tutorials. I will never show you, by the way. Yeah, that'll do. Um... Oh, it's null. I see. In that case, then. Let's swap it all around to concrete. Didn't realise it was null. My bad. And we can have... I do like the one-way glass. Let's n not... We'll just have these three. That can be normal glass. And then we'll have these... Four that can be glass. Again, don't know if this is going to work out very well or not, but it is the first zoo, hopefully of many. Um, can we just throw this over this side? Yeah, we can. There we go. And should I move these in now? I think so. So let's go and get those in there. We have got to unpause the game for that to happen. Don't know what they're going to need. Let's speed time up and then we can get them in and we'll be able to build the habitat up. I hope they don't get stressed easily. Oh, we've got some new research done. Love it. Giant pandas complete. And the peafowl has got nothing, so we definitely need to get that going. Um, what else have we got? Low welfare? Social stress, animal is stressed and trying to hide. It's not my new world of beasts, like, but. Is there literally no barrier there? Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. You are stressed. It's not good, it's not good, it's not good. Can't you just go and hide in your um, little cave that you've got there? Are these one way? Yes, they are. These ones are not one way. Can you make them one way? You can, but I don't like that. How about if we just add more foliage? Will that help you out? Plants, Africa, and... Grassland. So, we will... Clear those. Africa, and... Grassland. Can I just, like... I don't know if this actually helps them at all. Just give them a little bit more cover. Ooh. Plants going down there. Do you not like these? No, no, you do not like these. It said you like these. Africa, grassland. Africa, grassland. What? 
Oh, it likes less coverage. I'm a stupid. Um, where's the dude or key gone? That one. So we'll delete all them. My bad, dude. I apologize. Um, coverage. That's too much coverage, apparently. Is that better? That's better. That's severe stress. Ugh. I kind of want to... Edit that barrier. Because he really doesn't like it. That's not going to help. I think we're just going to go back to what we were doing. I can't really help you at the minute. And these little things haven't got anything in there at the minute. So, habitats. What do we need? We need none of this. And reset filters, species... What are you called? Indian peafowl. There we go. So, let's get a little food over there. For That's not actual food. Stupid. It's enrichment, though. We'll get one of those and one of those. There you go. You've got food and water. Always good. Um, enrichment. Let's get you some... Yeah, that can go right down there. Seems to work. And we can get some toys for you. We've already got one of those. How about a sprinkler right in the middle? Yeah. I could say enrichment isn't nothing still. Um, terrain. You need a hard shelter. I don't think we'd need a very big one. I do like the wooden shelters. I prefer one that looks a little bit more... That's the sort of thing I'm after. One that actually looks like a shelter and not just a wooden box. I don't want to be going through the wall. So let's go there. There you go. You need a little bit more long grass. That's easy, easily done. No, you need less long grass. My bad. There we go. How's that suit you? Uh, you're okay for plants and coverage. Enrichment is good. So short, you need more. That is absolutely fine. Um, Indian peafowls. Where are Indian peafowls? Can we get some good ones? Let's adopt one of you. It said generally females, didn't it? If we just go back to Zoopedia. Um, species data. Up to four males, up to 16 females. You know what? I think that'll do for now. We've got one male and a fair few females, right? So you should be good with that. We'll move you guys to there. Just speed it up a little bit. I do hope they don't get stressed easily. You're enjoying the sprinkler. Adult population is good. Overview. Everything is good. What else do we need? We need one more new species. If only I could make a quick exhibit. Hmm... Let's have a look, see if there's one more. I know the video is a little bit long. It is the first one. Chinese Pandolian? Pangolian, even, not Pandolian. Um, we've already got them. I wish it would just say new in this section. We have got the tapirs. Yes, we have. Just press 2. Just press 2. It loads easier. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. We've got the warthogs. Have we got the black bears? 
We haven't got black bears. Do they play nicely with anything? Um, Zoopedia. You'd kind of expect them to be um, a little bit dangerous. No, they don't benefit. <clears throat> so, I think what we're going to do next time, we're going to come back into this zoo. Cause we, I'm going for gold on every zoo, by the way. It may get a little bit tedious at some points, but I just ask that you stick with it. Um, we've done a little bit of building. We've generally done maintenance and stuff like that. I'm hoping we get to build our own zoo completely up from scratch at some point. I mean, architecture. I don't think I'll ever look into building my own buildings all the way up, but you never know. You never know. We have got blueprints. That sort of thing I will be using. In fact, have I just got a touch of room? There's a little bit of room there. Let's just do... I've not added donation boxes or anything to the uh, P-Fowl thing. Uh, exhibit trading. I know we've not got the tarantulas. So I'm just going to adopt you very quickly. Uh, it kind of helps if you've got the facility in. And we'll get one of those. In you go. Ah. I'm apparently an idiot. <clears throat> can I just delete the entire thing? Yes, I can. That is what we need. Oh, and it comes with the things already around it. Cool. Chuck that there. Ah, it's built into it. I'm learning still. Just bear with me. You move into there. And we've done it. We've not got gold, but yeah, we're going to leave that there for today. We'll let her finish talking first. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. But yeah, we're going to leave that there for today. We'll be going for gold on everything, like I've said. All I ask is that you give me a little bit of patience. We're going to make some good stuff in this. I can feel it. It's been a while since I've done a good um, tycoon game. In fact, I'm fairly sure the last Tycoon game that we played was Planet Coaster, because I've not done that many on the channel. I have played a fair few myself, but um, just not while recording. So, um, yeah, I would appreciate it very much if people would like this. It is the start of a new series, and uh, I'd like to generate some interest in it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if I'm doing anything wrong, how I can do things better, all that sort of jazz in the comments below. And... Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!